painting this pig to be in a series with other paintings I did, like this is the dog, there's a cat, a sheep, a fish, a bird, they all have to kind of blend together. So we'll start out with the piggy shape. I want to leave room here, I might add some wings to this, make it a flying pig later. Snout, big snout. Get this guy really jolly. Okay, there's our basic pig. Make him happy. Pigs need to be happy. Okay, and of course, a little curly tail. Okay. How about ears? Pigs have ears, right? Kind of like that. Now, while well, the background needs to go in here while the, uh, while the black is still wet, I don't mind if stuff kind of mushes up together, the colors mush together. It makes more interesting canvas for me. Let's get a little variety in the sky here. Seldom do we ever want to use just color straight out of the tube. It kind of makes for a boring painting. So mix your colors. Let's get some grass in here. Put them on the ground. For now anyway. I can always make them fly later. I'm working with acrylic on canvas, which is I love acrylic because you can work really fast. It dries quickly, but if you work fast, that's no big deal. You can still blend, and people sometimes think I'm working with oils because of the blending I have going on. But you can see I kind of fly around the canvas. Okay, secret. Secret number one. Look at this. This is a uh, multi-purpose cleaning spray. Just kind of spritz the whole thing with that. You're going to gasp when you see this because this kind of mucks it up once in a while. But that's okay. It's all serendipity. Everything's good. Okay, we're getting kind of an interesting background texture. We're blending the colors and our pig image is still there. So I can paint into it. You can also do a little, uh, some scratches for some grass texture down here. Okay. Okay, and have at it. Get a piggy color in there. There, like lipstick on a pig. Okay. Back to the spray. What this is going to do is smear it when the paint's wet, but when the paint's drier, it actually kind of pits it so you can see the underlying layers. Another thing I'll do is uh, come in with some graphite. This is like a, uh, an ebony pencil, only it's got no wood on it. Gonna add some accents, add some interest. Pretend like it's the under under sketching. It adds a little bit of texture. Okay, let's let this dry for. Uh, 
three, four minutes, and we can come in and spritz it again. You can see how it pits. Okay, here comes the spritz on this top stuff. I'm just going to let it sit for a second, and then it wipes off. Man, it's not pitting too much, but it added a little interest in the cheek and stuff. Do a little final touch up here. Get rid of our blobs of stuff we don't want. Brighten up the eyes. Floating eyebrows. Very important. That's the longest pigtail I've ever seen. That's okay. I think he uh, uses it for navigational purposes when he flies. Alright, there you got your basic pig. These simple and easy. I'll still work on this a little bit, but you get the general idea. I'll post the thing on the end so you can see how it turned out, okay? Okay, I'm going to make one more little adjustment here. I got my photo of the regular pig. And this is by request. Very busy little wings trying to make this thing hover. Put little motion things by the feet here now too. I'm sure these lifting off the ground a little bit. Hovering pig.